Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Live with the co-founders of the Christ Our Life Conference, Marilyn Lane, Ellen Miller. We are days away. Days. Hours. Yes, we are. Hours we can say away right now. <laughs> We're huh? a whole novena away. Do you, do you both get nervous? Like right now? Like are the nerves like churning? You Not at what? all. No? Not for, Not for Marilyn. Not at you? all. I mean, I would say I wake up earlier um, yeah. without being woken up yeah. kind of thing. You know, I'm like, okay, I got stuff to do. Right. That kind of thing. But it doesn't ever you know, bother me in the way of knowing this is God's conference, yeah. not ours. That's have you, right. have you both already started on 2026? Oh yes. Have absolutely. you really? Yeah. Oh, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. That's how we get 2028. That's how we get. Oh the no, good not, yeah. Yeah. not 28. No, not yet. 26. Yeah. Oh my yes. gosh. Well, uh, I, I, days away. I mean, September 28th and 29th, this is, um, I mean, it, we, we were kind of talking off air about this too, the brand that this has kind of become, yes. I mean, amongst not just Iowa, but the, the Midwest, It's incredible. It's true. And we thank Ginny Striegel for coming up years and years ago with the words, Christ our life is our title. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, she did it? Yeah. She was the one? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. She said, we proclaim it every year at Easter. Yeah. And I think it is the perfect title. Oh, it's a a perfect title. Um, All right. Two days. For the person listening right now that has never been to a Christ Our Life conference, and I'm I'm sure there's plenty, right? I mean, there's always more new people. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? Well... What would I say to yeah. them? Oh, my gosh. You get one shot. Yeah, one shot. It's interesting, John. I pause because I really personally feel like I don't know what, you know, God has in store for you. But I do know that if you show up to the Christ Our Life Conference, he will meet you where you're at. Yeah. You know, I think everybody's looking for that hook. And let alone the beautiful speakers we have, world-class speakers. Um, we pick them very intentionally to kind of take you on, you know, is it going to be knowledge you're going to learn about the church or is it going to be storytelling? Are you going to find out somebody's testimony? You know, yeah. are you going to feel a call to action? I mean, with each and every one of our speakers, they are chosen intentionally for different reasons. But with that said, I just, I almost want people to come because they don't know why. Right. Give your yes and see what God has in store, Right. Very well said. I also like to uh, incorporate a few testimonials, and I have one that I think pretty well sums it up. This was from about four years ago, uh, and we do have thousands of testimonials, and I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, There were children and seniors, religious and felons, all races, converts, and cradle Catholics, people from every walk of life, all worshiping together for two days. It does not get any better than that hmm. on Amen. earth. That's cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, it gives me God bumps every like time heaven. I read it. You know? It is. It does feel like a Well, as a matter of fact, right below that, now that you said it, Thank you for making the Stay at Hope co- uh, pilgrimage a reality. I kind of felt like I got a sample of heaven, what heaven it's would true. be like. There's yeah. joy there. I mean, yeah. there's, there's a joy there when you're kind of walking, I, it, walking yeah. throughout the halls and just kind of hearing the buzz. It, it's, it's unlike really anything I've been a part of. I truly I mean, feel, anything. I've been yeah. to a lot of conferences. And that says a lot. It, it, is, it is something yeah. like uh, something unique. I mean, there's yeah. just no doubt. And the thing is, it's like we this is our eighth conference now. Right. And mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter how big or how small it is. It feels big. Yeah. You can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit because I truly believe God is blessing our yes. He's blessing all of those people who have worked so hard for the conference. You know, oh, yeah. he's celebrating with us. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Father Robert Spitzer. Mm. Game over for me. Oh, I know that. that was like hook, Is, line and sinker. I, I'm, I'm at the I'll be, I'll be at the edge of the stage listening to this. Oh guy, you goodness. know, I mean, he is so good. And I got to sit down with him the other day and just kind of hear about his life and background. And, and, and I mean, he's he's just brilliant. You have yeah. been texting us and saying yeah. kudos to you girls oh, for getting Father Spitzer. He's, he's awesome. And, and it doesn't it doesn't end. Yeah. I was thinking like, okay, I can maybe take a break. Where do I take a break? Then you look at the speakers. You're like, I'm not taking a break no, anywhere. No, like, no. You, you, I want to hear every one of them. I, I especially want to hear Sister Garrett. Mm. Josephine. Oh, yes. You talk about joy. Oh, we're so grateful oh, to have her. Goosebumps. Yeah. She's been everywhere. Yeah. Like NCYC, the Eucharistic Congress. Yep. She, Bishop loved her. Oh, my Johnson. goodness. Yeah. He loved her. <laughs> I mean, he, he, we, we, I saw him and he says, you've got to listen to her speak. Uh, I, I missed her talk. He says, you've got to hear her speak. She is so good. And, yeah. and he's heard a lot of speakers, too. So, I mean, this is it, it's just it, but it's not just about the speakers. Right. I, I, I sometimes, you know, I, I want to I want to talk about them. But at the same time. This is this is a family. I mean, yeah. it is. But I know. do have to say that 
I am super excited about Monsignor Stephen Rossetti. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. When you read that that priest's credentials, yep. they go on and on nonstop. I mean, just his experiences as a spiritual director and a licensed psychologist, let alone all of his years. He was over 13 years as chief exorcist in Washington, but he's been an exorcist for over 30 years. You, you wanna, can imagine what he shares. You want to hear something? Crazy? Yes. Okay. yes. So yes. I'm, I pick up Father. Uh, Monsignor Rossetti's book and um, his latest one. And I was I was about to read it and I, I kind of put it off. And then I started it uh, about six weeks to eight weeks ago, something like that. And I was reading a little bit of it. And I was thinking, you know, I mean, it, it, the devil, you know, his influence is huge. We know that. Well, he started talking about how the devil can, you know, at times there can be sickness, you know, all kinds of sickness. I mean, this is this is evil. Right. And, and we don't think that flus and colds and everything are, are great. And I remember I was reading that and I was like, hmm. I don't know if I buy that. Mm-hmm. I got the flu the next day. No. I couldn't. I couldn't finish the book. Oh, I still. I'm, I'm. I'm scared to pick the book back up <laughs> before I go to Rome because I don't want to get sick again. I'm like, what is going on? No, but I mean, he, he goes into the influence of, uh, of 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 the devil. I mean, in a lot of ways, spiritual um, warfare that that he talks about that is real and alive right now. Yeah. Very, yeah. very yeah. underestimated yeah. in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. And and you, you got one of the best. I I mean, he's been an exorcist for 13 yes. years, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. From the Archdiocese of, uh, of, of Washington. So mm-hmm. incredible. Jeff Cavins. Oh, my goodness. That's fun. I am so Bible. excited to hear yeah. him share about the good news and, and keeping it simple for me. Right. You know, I'm somebody who just needs a couple of verses that I need to take into my so-called elevator speech when yeah. I go out to share my heart for Christ. He's one of them. Mm-hmm. What, what, and go ahead. Bible timeline. Yeah. I was going to say most people know him. First yeah. and foremost from that. Yeah, he's allowed the Bible to come alive for Amen. hundreds of thousands mm-hmm. of people. Mm-hmm. What else can people expect? Not just the speakers. What mm-hmm. else can we expect throughout this conference? I have to speak about one thing. Yeah. Adoration oh, yeah. is one of the most beautiful experiences. There's only one other place we can liken it to, and that's Ellen and I when we uh, have our pilgrims in Medjugorje and it's nighttime and there are 10,000 of us outdoors. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. But this is really something when you dim all those lights at Wells Fargo Arena and Steve Angrisano brings in the music Mm -hmm. and the prayerful feeling and then you see Jesus in the monstrance. It is powerful. You do not hear a pin drop you don't. among thousands of people. And, you know, it's like um, this conference is so beautiful because it's people of all ages. And I sit next to my grandkids and they're on their knees. You know what I mean? My daughters are on their knees. My husband, my dad, who's 90. You know, right. what a beautiful moment for families to come together. Besides to speakers, mm-hmm. what's what's both of your favorite parts? Well, we got high school, college breakout this oh, year. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. First time. Looking forward to that. Just trying to bring our youth in. 23 sure. and under is free. You know, you have to go to the website and register but 23 and under that's old oh my goodness that is beautiful 23 is my favorite age (laughs) (laughs) so you gotta go so families can go you know that's the beauty i mean bring your how do you do that with families uh, what, well, what like the adult like? would pay, yeah. you know, and then you would bring your youth. You would register online, like I'm bringing this many children, and then you bring those tickets in on your phone, and you're good to go. You hear that, 23 year olds? You're youth. 23 and under. You are yeah. zero to 23. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And yeah. my husband uh, is a fantastic fundraiser, yeah. and he does raise funds to yes. support this. It doesn't come for free. And I, people have been yeah. so good about it. So, you know, yeah. really take that opportunity of somebody's goodness and come to the conference. When you uh, both are there, what's your favorite part besides the speakers? Oh, the community. Yeah. The community that you feel. Because you, yeah. guys, cause you guys kind of just sit and take it all in. Oh, yeah. Finally, yeah. we get You've done that relax. from the beginning. Yeah, yeah finally, run, right? Yeah. 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 Which is awesome. Back, yeah. And you sit yeah. back and you're able to kind of see what's your favorite, Marilyn? Really, truly integrating with uh, coming across all of the people, whether in the concourse or in my seat, meeting new people that will come up and say, I think you're one of those planners. Uh-huh. And I, I would like to say this about the conference. Oh, what a joy. And I think what a joy for Jesus yeah. and his ears. I think my, my favorite is the last liturgy. Mm. The last mass. Mm. That, that one's so awesome. Bad. It you is. Know? And it's like the Coleman. I, I, it's like everything builds to mm. that for me. Yeah. Monsignor uh, Rossetti is going to be our main celebrant on Sunday because Beautiful. Bishop Johnson cannot unfortunately be there. He knew this a year and yeah. a half ago. Yeah. Um, but oh, God, beyond all praising is our final that's, hymn. That's it. And boy, that does it for me. Yeah. 
It does it's always a reminder, too, about how big our church is. Yeah. Like we are more than just, you know, this community. We are bigger out into the world. And what can we do with what we've just learned, what we've just experienced? What would you say is the main message or is there a main message mm-hmm. this year that you'd like to we always walk away, away as a team and we're always like Christ our life every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. I like that. Every day. A nice mm-hmm. theme right there. What do you think, Marilyn? Boy. Is there a message? Is there something that kind of, mm, or yes. you just kind of let it go? No, no, no. no? I, I think I, I contemplate what each and every speaker, how each one uniquely loves God and works daily to show his or her love uh, and devotion for Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Will we have uh, priests hearing confessions? Oh boy, Do we have priests hearing confessions. <laughs> that was the biggest Susie softball I've so ever hard on of a that. question yes. I've ever asked. We have a beautiful <laughs> yeah. amount of priests that are going to be there to hear confessions. So I think how does maybe that work? The most ever possible. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. How does that work? What, what is confessions going on throughout the whole conference? What is that? Yes, the confessions are going on throughout the whole conference. When the doors open, I believe that is our starting time. Yep. And you're hearing people come back to confession for the first times oh, as well, right? Years. Oh, priests I mean, heard, always talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah 30, yeah. 40 years. Uh, it's a great place because anonymity is prevalent there. Mm-hmm. It's very unlikely that you will, you know, run into some a priest you know, and a lot of people appreciate that fact. Yeah. And I don't know how much this plays in, but it, it's like the coolest Catholic stores you know, store, yes, if you will, so like true. exhibitors <laughs> everywhere. And you just find things. I'm like, oh, that's great. I just spend all our money. Yeah, I, I, socks I are... love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ray I mean, Lois Brookhart. Yes. Yeah, and and people it. come from all over to, yeah. to be able to uh, vend there, right? I mean, you got vendors that come in, exhibitors. We really try to, to keep their fees low because we know they have a ministry also that yeah. they are trying to foster, you know, and to help us all grow in our faith. Though. Yeah. 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 And uh, we do always have a waiting list, by the way. That's that's yeah. I, I'm sorry for the people who can't get in, but that is a very positive note for Christ our life. Uh, Lois keeps that list and it, it just we never can fill all the we just don't have enough space for everybody. This interview went fast. Ah, uh, my goodness. Good. You both did a wonderful well, job. Well, you're like family job. Well, give me give me one last <laughs> thank you. One last uh-huh. bit. Oh, you gosh. get one chance. One last All right. Chance. Ellen's going to sell you uh-huh. on going to the conference. Christ our life, come for all or stay for some. That's right. Yeah, I you can. You don't have to just stay for the whole thing. You're going to want to. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, if you need to leave, you need to leave, but uh you you're, you're going to want to. What would you say, Marilyn? Oh my gosh. The best dose of Jesus Christ that you can get outside of directly receiving the Holy Eucharist. Yeah. You you need a retreat friends. If you haven't been on a retreat ever in your life, uh, that's in a lot of ways how I think about this. And and you get to go home and sleep in your comfy bed and all that. It's, it's a powerful uh, uh, time, but it's, it's not a huge ask. I would say, No, I mean, it's a day and a half. It's a day and a half right? of your time. Yeah. I mean, John, Anyone you travel and take people on yes. pilgrimages. Marilyn and I do. I mean, it's a lot of work. Oh, it takes just years to off my life. Step out your door and <laughs> yeah. drive a few hours or a few miles. Right. And there it is, waiting for all of us. Yeah, or have a watch party. Oh, if, that's If you can't cool. make it. Yeah. Watch parties are happening all over for yeah. Christ our life. And that's truly if you can't make it. I want I want as many people there as possible. I know many are going to come, but you, you, you try to accommodate and you do. So many people from around the world. Yeah. Which is just wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Amen. Uh, Marilyn Lane, Ellen Miller, co-founders of the Christ Our Life Conference. It is happening September 28th and 29th. So it's going to be a week from today uh, is, is will be the night before. And then that Saturday you'll be uh, you'll be ready. Where do people get tickets? Christ Our Life, Iowa dot com. And that is Iowa spelled out. Yes. Yes. Christ Our Life, Iowa dot com. Get your tickets today. I can't wait, and we'll look forward to seeing you there. Make sure you come by the Iowa Catholic Radio Network booth at the Christ Our Life Conference to say hello. We'll have uh, some items to give away and a special item for purchase at the, uh, at, at the event. So make sure you stop by and see us. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.